When you're working on projects, it's quite common to want to include codes which other people have written, whether that be in the form of libraries or extensions or anything else. The problem is, however, how do you go about downloading and installing and configuring those plugins or libraries in a reliable way, such that you can easily upgrade them if there is an update? Downloading code from GitHub and unzipping it into a specific folder isn't very reliable, and it's very easy to make a mistake and accidentally unpack a folder into the wrong directory. This is where package managers come in. Package managers offer a solution which integrates the entire process. You specify which packages you want to include in your project, as well as which versions you want to include, and the package manager is then responsible for all of those tasks. For example, downloading the package, unzipping it, checking for updates, and ultimately leaving you to focus on writing your code, rather than trying to monitor the state of packages that someone else is maintaining. The idea has been used for many years in the Linux community where you have tools like apt-get and yum amongst others, except they're focused on entire programs, not just specific packages as we're going to talk about. Finally, it's important to note that package managers tend to focus on only one programming language. For example, it's unlikely that a PHP-based package manager would be able to be used within a Java environment or vice versa. To that end, I'll also mention the fact that I'm only going to be focusing on web-oriented package managers in this mini-series. There are many package managers out there, but specifically I'll be focusing on the likes of Node, Bower, Composer, Pair. And while the principles will be similar to those found in other environments, each of these names package managers are focused specifically within the web community. In the next video we're going to be looking at the Node package manager specifically, and how we can use that to manage our Node JavaScript packages. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that.